Guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do The Silencer issue number three by DC Comics. And this is the third part uh, of the Code of Honor um, saga, if you will. So uh, without further ado, let's dive in. Um, by the way, I have uh, uh, still have throat problems. I think uh, that I uh, contracted the COVID years ago, but I'm not sure. And since then, I have always problems that I have something in my lungs or something like that. I can breathe fine, but I have all. I need to always clear my throat somehow. It just it seems there is something stuck there, but uh, there is nothing. But that's how it feels. So, yeah. So if I'm <clears throat> doing stuff like this, like I'm doing now, uh, that's that's because well, what I just explained. So sorry for that. Anyway, let's move uh, on. So uh, silencer is uh, well. This is from from. Uh, the last page of issue two, we continue like that, continue the saga. And um, so Silencer threatens um, this guy, um, Remedy, uh, to uh, back off. Otherwise, there will be trouble. And he has only three seconds, but he doesn't believe that. And he said, where are you going to go? You are trapped. Then she has some kind of, I believe, flares. And then <laughs> it's, it's just spectacular cool. But also... I think not only flares, but also explosive, I guess. And uh, she uses the, her zone of silence and also a visor for the flash. So they can't see, they can't hear, and they cannot speak. Uh, I love that. And then uh, crazy chaos. Uh, everybody's in panic. Everybody's just shooting. And, uh, well, quiet. That's her name. Uh, I, I call her silence so now. From now on, I try. Um you know, Rex Havoc kills everyone. Well, not everyone, but mostly. And it looks glorious. Uh, it looks really cool. I love also the color palette. Um, it's very nice to look at with all the chaos. And um, to be honest, um, the, the artist, uh, John Romina Jr., I think his art is here probably one of the best I've seen. And I'm a little bit 50-50 when it comes to... Uh, John's art, um, not because he's a bad artist, but sometimes his art doesn't lend well for certain characters. He was cool in, in Spider-Man, he was cool and uh, he was good in um, 4, but then I saw his Superman run and it was bad. Not everything, there were some, some good parts in it, but mostly bad. So I think his art lends better for grounded heroes like the silencer when you show off technology and crazy stuff instead of the superhero stuff i don't know sometimes it does look wonky at uh, at part and no, his art is not always good or detailed when it comes to his art in well, no, in comparison to his art in the past but that's me and his work in the silencer i really enjoy um and the characters looks great and cool. He, he can do great stuff if he puts his his uh, yeah, his back into it. Anyway, so um, this guy um, goes into some kind of a bunker, some kind of a safe house, and he calls this guy called Quietus. I'm not a fan of that name, but it, well, it doesn't matter. And he said, "Hey, did you kill her? Is he still in the uh, in the bunker?" And he says, "Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna deal with that." Um, so he promises. Skipping a few pages. He promised to kill her. And then uh, we see here great stuff. Um, she's still fleeing. She's still uh, killing, you know, these cyborg humans. I'm not sure what they are, by the way. They are not really cyborgs. But on the other hand, they have robotic faces. But they also have human emotions. And so I believe this is a, a blend between a cyborg, between man and human. Well, that's a cyborg, of course. But I love the look because if you think of cyborgs, mostly they have facial, they look like humans, but then with metal parts. This is the other way around. They look like a robot, but they have, I believe, uh, human anatomy and arts and, or not. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, looks great. Um, but then this guy uh, shoots a rocket and launches, get caught in a blast. It's it's just cr crazy stuff over here as he... Still using her uh, a wall of silence or a bubble of silence. Uh, I like her power because it's not only, how do you say, um, cool how she implements that. Um, I mean, mostly it's for the noise of the outside. But there's also, uh, as you can see here, 
so she's fleeing and um but she also uses the bubble of silence to shoot people and then the enemy doesn't know where the sound is coming from because it's hidden uh, it's very tactile really cool and then um well we see more chaos and um then Mr. Quieter says, hey, did you capture her? And he says, no, 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 I have, I have, I'm, I'm still busy with her. She's still here. And um, I said, is she in the Walmart? And he says, yes, I told you that. And then um, can you confirm her location site? Yes, why do you keep asking me? You've been a good soldier, Remedy. Well, we know what's going to happen. So she's covered in, I don't know, blood or oil from the machines. And then she goes into a tank and she's hurt badly. Well, badly, well, mostly. And then uh, Talia Ghul um, contacts her through the telephone. And she says, uh, where are you? You still alive? He says, yeah. Okay, you need to get out of here now. I'm not sure why uh, Talia says that. Well, I know. But anyway, she uh, uses a device to get into the computer system of the tank. And she also manufactured some kind of a 3D key and she uses that to ignite the, the engine while the enemy is still shooting at her and then skipping you. Oh, wait a minute. I have so much to say about this. And since it's in the past, we all know what happened, what Bendis did to Superman. And God, it was bad. Anyway, uh, Silencer escapes. Uh, uses the tank, run over, I'm not sure she run every, over everybody, but she is, well, yeah, she does. <laughs> I did see that. <laughs> so she's killing everybody, and then some kind of a laser beam comes right out of the orbit, and everything explodes. Um, so yeah, that's what Quietus did that. And um, and then, oh, wait a minute, I'm just going to show you this one. So she picks up her little boy, and she's still wounded. And then from her corners of her eyes, she, she's still, she still sees um, the enemy, Leviathan. And they, she thinks they, well, she thinks they are there, or maybe she is just imagining things. And um, she says, Leviathan was willing to test satellite weapon and kill scores of their own men to get to me. And she says, I can't live like this. It's not the life that I want. And uh, then she uh, is getting contacted by. Uh, Talia again, and Talia explains uh, why they are, well, not why they are looking for her, but they are keep coming and coming and coming till they get her. And she says, that's how badly they want us dead. Deployed an orbital strike, probably cost them north of a billion dollars for 20 seconds of access code to a DOD. The DOD is the Department of the Defense. Um, and she said, how do you feel about the situation now? Because uh, she wants to, well, that um, Silas wants to work for her again or help her in some way. And she says, and you're all insane and I'm not playing. Do you understand? And she says, end this, Talia, or I'll end it for you and you along with it. And she hangs up the phone. But that's not the end. So we see here one of the heads of these, well, bots, drones, robots, cybernetically enhanced people and then this guy is you know connecting them to the computer and then interrogates it but who is this well i'm not going to show you but we're going to see that in issue four and it's going to be very very cool so anyway guys well, thank you for watching uh i hope you like the video I, i'm i'm liking science i'm not the uh, i'm not you know i have sure there's things that is not are perfect uh but the pacing the art the um, yeah, maybe the, the quote-unquote R-rated-esque um, Punisher style, because to me, that's, she's a little bit Punisher, but not. I mean, her motivation is totally different, of course. But uh, she is an assassin, or she was an assassin. Well, let's let's leave the Punisher out of it. But I like these vigilantes, anti-heroes, and she, she's a very cool character. I, um, I'm very surprised that I like this comic so much. So I give it a thumbs up and I'm going to continue the series uh, yeah, later. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.